Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The topic today is, when is it too soon to connect with the afterlife? Now, as you know, I've been a psychic and a medium for almost 14 years now. And during that time, I've created a sort of code of ethics to really respect human people and to respect spirit in the afterlife. And so what I came up with early on was uh, I did have some real hard and fast rules um, about when I would do sessions for people, how soon after someone died. And it used to be I used to tell people at wait at least three weeks, at least three weeks. And it was actually more like three months or six months. And mostly that was because I felt that I felt really strongly about that. And mostly that was because I did not want to take advantage of people's pain and grief. And when people are in pain and they just want to have relief and they need healing, sometimes you get really desperate and you'd pay anything to have some peace. And I didn't want to profit from that. So that's kind of, to, to be real transparent, that's why I said, uh-uh. My rule was usually three to six months after. And I was much more comfortable six months to a year after. Um, and so now I would say that's changed. Um, but not too much. So for example, as you know, at Above Life Channel, I channel well-known celebrities and famous people, people you'd recognize in the afterlife because you'll listen to their advice about real life. And so when they die or if someone, like recently we've had a couple of real high profile people leave the, the planet, the earthly plane, and I will not channel them. I'm gonna wait. I will wait, I would say a minimum of three weeks, but I have to say the whole time thing is really kind of irrelevant. And so uh, it's more about the family. It's more about the people who are here, who are left here that are grieving. I don't wanna be disrespectful. I don't wanna um, get in on the, um, the talk or the conversation about their causes of death or anything like that. I don't wanna be in the drama of it. That's not the point of the Above Life channel is not to be in the drama. It's to help with the, the perspective about life to really inspire us and give us hope for life because of the interesting perspectives that the afterlife gives us. The spirit has such an interesting and, and really beautiful, profound explanation of human life and can give us such deep reflections where we don't have to have the experiences ourselves in order to learn and grow. That's what spiritual connection is. It gives us the opportunity to grow and expand, to shift our values or belief systems, and to be better people. Like that's the goal here, for you to be a better person through the connections with the afterlife. So I would say that I probably don't nowadays have a hard and fast rule about when I will connect with someone um, from the afterlife. I, I still feel if someone contacts me like right after someone has died and it was especially if it was unexpected, I, I just will kind of use my best intuitive judgment um, as to how helpful a session would really be for them. If it's a situation where I feel the spirit, like I gotta talk, I gotta talk, I gotta talk, then I would totally honor the spirit. Because remember, I got two sides of this coin that I manage. The human people, people who come to me and ask for sessions, and I have the spirit. And I have tons of clients in the afterlife. They just don't pay me very well. But they're awesome. And so they are my, they are my clients too, and so I really honor them as well. So if they want to speak right away, then I will do that. But oftentimes when someone wants to connect with the afterlife, it's because they feel maybe some guilt, regret, or they're worried. Guilt, regret, and worry in a human form. Do those, do those emotions sound familiar? Yeah, we all have that. But if someone died before you could get there, or if you were kind of estranged for a while, or you had a big argument, or you don't feel like you did enough, or you had to make the decisions about end of life um, support and things like that, which I personally have been in that situation myself. So I can totally understand how, you know, after the fact, you kind of look back and go, did I make the right choices here? 
You know, I, I totally, totally understand that from a personal perspective, I dealt with that. So there are so many factors here that go into this and when to have a session, when it's too soon. With the two public figures that um, recently, um, high profile figures that have died recently, it's way too soon because the cause of their death was suicide, both of them. They made their own choices. So in respect for the family, I won't channel those people, not for quite a while. They're on my list now. I'll talk with them later, but not right now. It's too, there's too much drama and there's too much trauma for the family. I, I won't cross those boundaries. I just won't do it. If the family were to randomly reach out to me and want to talk to me privately, sure, of course I'll talk to them to help them through that process. But not... Nah, it's not for public consumption. Nah, it might sell great newspapers or nowadays, I guess it might sell great episodes on whatever we're streaming nowadays, but that's not really, that's not my, my place to be. So I hope this helps you. Um, it does not stop you. Let me just share that. It does not stop you from talking to your loved one, from communicating and connecting with them if, they're, if they just recently died and you want to just feel them or you're so sad or you want to express your your forgiveness or your grief or or share your feelings one of the best ways to do that i recommend you do that talk to them out loud you'll feel their energy and it's really easy for us as humans to feel it right away i think after they've died after the first couple weeks at least it's really easy to feel their presence their energy um, as we're kind of in a state of disbelief or resetting what our reality is with our relationship with them. We're reconfiguring our relationship with them. And so the energy is still real present in our human experience. We still have that kind of that imprint or that um, it almost looks like exhaust, like spiritual exhaust, you know, it kind of lingers for a little bit. And it's real easy to feel that at that time. And so I encourage what I encourage my clients to do is and anyone that is experiencing this and starting to move through the grief process. And you can do this at any time as well, but here's a great tool. You can write, write them letters, write letters to dead people, write letters to the spirit, write letters to your friend, your family member, whoever it is that is in, in that point where they are on the other side and you're here on this side. That's a great way to communicate, you know, be pen pals, write in a journal. And at first it'll just be you maybe writing your feelings, expressing your feelings or, or not, or feeling kind of silly. Like, I think I'm trying to talk to a dead person and I feel really odd. Write that, just write everything, write silly and give yourself time though. Write for a good 10 minutes at least. And you will, uh, and do it every day. Do it a couple times a day. Every time you miss them, start writing and you won't start to notice how the conversation shifts and how you start to feel better and you start to heal and you start to change your energy connection with that person, your, your relationship changes and it changes in positive ways, in positive and healthy ways. And you just may get some response when you look at your journal, when you look at your writing, you might start to see that spirit, that personality responding back to you. And you're not crazy, your spirit your soul connected. That's what you are. I know you're going to say, Oh my God, I'm so crazy because I am talking to so Oh my God, I, I, this is just crazy. I think I'm just going crazy. You're not, you're going spirit. You are totally soul connected. And that's a really good thing. That's a really good thing. This is Bridget at above life channel. Remember the purpose of this channel is to inspire your spirit to fill you up with hope. And I hope we did that today. And remember, it's your life, so live it, live it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. If you think others will benefit from it, share, share it on your social media and be sure to subscribe. Click that red bell on YouTube so that you'll never miss when I do weekly channels. Remember, I do weekly channeling videos with new famous afterlife people, so you don't wanna miss that. Thank you for being here.